What's up my friends, it's January 28th, it's 2012. I'm about to take a ride to the grocery store. I'm going to read one verse out of uh, one of my favorite books out of the Bible, Isaiah. We're going to read the first verse of 27 and then we're going to take off on a drive and start talking a little bit. So Isaiah chapter 27, the first verse says, In that day the Lord, with his severe sword, great and strong, will punish Leviathan, the fleeing serpent, Leviathan, that twisted serpent, and he will slay the reptile that is in the sea. The reptile in the sea. You know, the sea represents people who know the book of Revelation as uh, many, many peoples. You know, and the devil, that, that's the Leviathan serpent, you know, we're talking about Satan, we're talking about the devil. And God putting an end to his trickeries. You know, I ain't going to call them works because works are good things. Or I look at works as good things when they're, they're done properly. There is no bad works because works are good if they're real true. But in that day, we're talking about the day of the Lord. We're talking about when peace will rule this earth. But to understand the war against the devil, that Leviathan serpent that it talks about, the war against him, we gotta understand what all is happening right now and what's going on. And when the devil was, or let me, let me word this right, when Lucifer, from what I know, Satan, was in heaven, he was an angel at one time and he was cast out. There was a war that broke out in heaven what we know from Revelation chapter 12 and Michael the archangel and his angels the ones who are you know join his side which it is God's side went to war with Satan and his angels which we know now that would be the fallen angels that would be your demonic spirits and demons and everything that is here on this earth that does not have any power over a Christian. That is, if, a, if the Christian is living how they're supposed to be living. So, in the day of the Lord, the day of the, the when is the day of the Lord? It says in the day of the Lord, you know, his severe sword will punish. Well, when is the day of the, the day of the Lord? That's today. Today, today is the day of salvation. Salvation is being protected, being saved from the wiles of the devil. And that's, that is a great gift. That is, that is the gift that God gave us through his son Jesus. But the problem today is, you know, there's, yeah, there might be churches everywhere. Churches everywhere, these buildings that you know, there could be a lot of good things going on, but the gospel in itself, the full gospel is not being preached, it's not being administered, it's not being taught, it's just, it's not being applied. But the gospel will have to once again start being applied or Satan will never be defeated, you know? Some people say, well, Satan was fully defeated at the cross. Well, actually, yes, he was. And then the resurrection. I mean, Satan at the cross, he thought he won. He actually thought he won if, from, from the way I take it. But the resurrection, you know, that, that revealed the full power of God. And that's, that's how I believe by being a, a biblical reader and a Christian, somebody who follows Christ, the full power was at the resurrection. And a lot of people can't fully grasp the resurrection so they don't even talk about it. But that, that is where it's at. I mean, the resurrection, God allowed his son to be slayed. And I've heard before, you know, no comeback is really a comeback unless the odds just seem impossible. Well, that's, that's think think of it like that. When they, when they were beaten and slaying Jesus, it's that mentality that God allowed allowed to happen just so he could express his full power you know two days later or two or three you know 
on the first day of the week when the sun had arose. You know, it, it, it took all of that to really show his power. And then today, people people don't even think God's things have power. They, they don't even, there's not even a, um, there's not even a cure to a common cold, but then there was a cure to death. You know, slayed, completely blood dripping everywhere. Just, you know, completely ripped, ripped. And Jesus got back up after being dead. And it, it was the power of God. That's where Satan was defeated. For the ones who do believe in that. Who believe in and believe in everything Jesus did. But believing, what well, well, good's believing? It says even the demons believe and tremble. Well, of course the demons believe and tremble. The demons, when Jesus was dying, was in a way rejoicing, but then they didn't know that God's story, he, he wasn't done yet. So, of course the demons believe. So, so we can believe, but what good's that? What good's believing if we're not out doing? And that's where them works. That's where they do come in, where, where working does come in. When we do good works, that slays Satan. That slays him. Anything good we do, it, it, it cuts him, it, 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 it destroys him, and it inevitably is what makes him flee from you. If you're involved head over heels in the good stuff, and you're constantly putting your mind and your soul and your body and everything you got, every energy, sweat, blood, everything into good, Satan ain't going to, he just, he's going to try to get you, but he's not going to have much power because good overpowers evil. And a lot of people don't, they want to argue that good don't overpower evil, but it does. Good overpowers evil. Just like in a dark room, you can go in there and light one little lighter, one little match, you know. That little spark can put out a whole lot of light in a dark room. So that's that's what we got to realize with good. If you're out there working, striving, trying to be that example, it's going to stand out. Just like that match in a dark room, it's, it's, it's just going to stand out. But the, the serpent of the sea, that's, that's the devil. When he was cast out of heaven, he was on here on this earth. He, he's in the middle of the sea right now. Take America, for example. We're the most perfect country to make an example of this, in my opinion, for being the sea. America fits the description of the sea so good because we got every race, ethnicity of people here in this country. But, you know, we got we got every, every type of race lives here in America. And to me personally, I think that's awesome. A lot of people, you know, they, they, uh, they think this is a white country. Well, learn your history, you know. I guess I'm a white Caucasian, but I know my history. I know who lived here first. I know who lived on this ground that I live in here in Tennessee. I know who was here first. I know who used to rock these grounds. You know, Native Americans did. But but we don't use none of their ways no more. So, but if America, America is the perfect example of the sea, like I'm saying, because we got all varieties of people, all walks of life, from just every range. And Satan, the devil, since he's roaming around in the sea, if people can't see it, then they must be entangled by him. He's everywhere in this country. The devil's everywhere. He, he's everywhere. And one of, one of the scriptures that sticks out to me a lot is on judgment when Jesus, you know, was talking about how, uh, you know, the person with the speck in their eye and how the other person was judging them, but really they had like a log in their eye or a whole tree. You know, one person had a little splinter, but another person had a whole tree in their eye, and the one with the whole tree in their eye was judging that one and condemning that one who had just that little speck in his eye. I see that so much everywhere I go, where there's certain, just take for instance this, this is something I have went, got through in my life, which was through quitting smoking cigarettes. I see people completely trash people talking trash them, completely put them down because they smoke cigarettes. 
But then people putting them down and sitting there drinking a Dr. Pepper and gnawing on a double cheeseburger and then, if, you know, you, you see what I'm saying? Maybe you don't, maybe you do. We, we, we say, you know, cigarettes kill 400,000 people a year. Well, how many, peop how many people die of not eating good a year? You know? And I'm not saying people are going to go to hell for that, but people will go to hell if they got that log in their eye and they're judging them specs. We could be helping, you know, like it says, get rid of that log out of your eye and you can help your brother with that little speck. So... We just, we got to be on top of our game because Satan, every which way, he is trying to trick us. He's running around like a roaring lion and he, he, he knows his time is short, the scripture says. It's, his time is short and the good news to his time being short is it's a short time till the restoration of God's people here. And... A lot of people don't want to talk about the things here on this earth and get into certain issues and stuff. They just want to say, well, I'm, I'm content with my faith and I'm going to heaven. Well, you know, I'm content with my faith too and I am going to heaven. But there's work to do here. There's work to do here now. I mean, now. Give us life now more abundantly. Yeah, we'll take it later too. But we'll take it now, too. And I mean, that's through the life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And people don't quite understand fully that we are entitled believers, knowers, as I like to say. We are entitled to have power over diseases. We're entitled to health. And a lot of people don't necessarily agree with that. But it's through... His stripes, we are healed. That's what the scripture says. The thing is, we're being destroyed for our lack of knowledge, and nobody's really teaching. A lot of the teachers are just, you know, they're teaching, and then they teach a very good lesson, and when they get done teaching, they're wanting, yeah, what's, what, money. They want money, so then it really makes their whole lesson worthless, in my opinion. You know, because if the ending don't if the ending don't end right with what's going on all the way leading up to up to that ending, then it, it just ruins everything for me. It, it really does, and that's the same way with the scripture. You know, you read Genesis, you go all the way to Revelation, it fits, it fits, and it's coming to that culmination where we're going to conquer, we're going to win. And it's just how it goes. Peace and love to everybody. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Thank you very much. I'm going to get off here. I'm about out here to get some groceries. And I just wanted to spread, spread a few words before I get off here. Try to inspire some people. Read your Bibles. Get clean. Just try to work on, you know becoming aware of maybe bad habits you have and trying to change them. It ain't easy to do, but it's worth it. Nothing easy is good, but if you do them things that are hard, you will be rewarded with good. So, therefore, just do it. Just do it. Put on your Nikes and do it. Thank you for listening. Have a good day. Peace.